feels a little better. And that's why you come to the Columbia River. Woo. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, but you let us right <laughs> to them, man. That's awesome. Day two of filming. Pretty early. We're tired, but we gotta get on the road. So let's get the kayak hooked up, get on the road. All right, we're back here for day two. Just got the kayak all loaded up. Rigging out a couple things for some cool shots. So yeah. that's going to throw a lot of pressure. Cool. I'm just thinking if you if you have this all the way flush against the steering triangle. Yeah. Looking like a much calmer day on the water. television show on Bali Sports Networks, but we also put it on YouTube as well. Oh, nice. So he's got a channel as well. Yeah. Brandon HOA Down Fishing. Oh, okay. I think I follow you on Instagram. Do you? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, you used to have that basketball, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's my Yeah. Cool. Um, there's the kayak stuff. This is my personal one. Okay. Oh, okay. nice. These guys came from Alabama. We were shooting a little show out here for Road Trip Angler. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. A little bit of a drive, but you know, yeah, yeah, just a little. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll get you to say, so we're going to make the move across uh, just to see if we can find something a little bit. Yeah, just kind of exploring a bit. All right. All right, y'all. So we had so much fun in that backwater on the Washington side, but just a mile across the river, we have the Oregon side. So we're going to make a run over there, fish some main river stuff since the wind started to die down. So we're going to go over there and see what we can do. It's going to be fun. Sweet. Thanks, Ed. We'll probably want to fish the main river stuff early, probably. But behind it, uh, there's a big flat and a real hard ledge, real rocky. We'll check out there. And up there, there's a couple other backwaters that we'll go check out as well. When we cross back, we'll probably go down a little bit more because of that huge flat right there. That's the reason why it's all wavy over here. There's one. Three pounder. That's a good one. That's a pre spawner, too. Hold them up. Ooh. It's a good one. Nice one. Pre spawner, too. That ledge goes out way out there. Hey, can I do a uh, release shot? Yeah. What was that, 19 maybe? Get them all the way in. Do not let them go. Bring them up. Guys, that's all I need. Actually. All right, y'all. We just made a move to the Oregon side, and we found some pre-spawners. I mean, that's a solid, probably 19-incher Z-Man diesel minnows. Got them right away. Just fishing this ledge, and I think some of these fish are still moving up with this colder spring. So that's a solid one. We'll take this all day long if we get some more. I like that Jameson oh, that's in the background without a fish. fish. First time I've looked over there. Nice. Pull it down just a little bit and smile. Yeah. Yeah. 
show them out to me. Ooh. Work it, now work it, work it. Sweet. All good. Time to let this girl go. Down to the depths of the Columbia. Let's get some more. All right, so we made a move to this area of fishing the main current, and what we're finding is some pre-spawn smallmouth that are moving up, and there's a big spawning area right next to us. So we're trying to catch these fish as they're moving up, and that was just a good sign of what we were able to find today. Sweet. Bumped it. Man, I want you to tell me about that that catch. I mean, I know you said there's a ledge out here, and I can see it on the with this current, but what did that fish hit, and uh, what was your presentation? Yeah. So, pretty much, big old flat, that comes out and drops. We're right on the edge, and it drops on 11 here, but in some spots it drops down to 16. It's a real hard, rocky edge with some grass patches. And with the current right now, just throwing a diesel minnows okay. out there, and that one just clobbered it. And I just got another bite right here. You can see there's a change in the current where it hits the wind. Absolutely. So I think that's just a good little transition area that it's a little bit different, and this fish are kind of setting up on. But we should yeah. be able to just go up and down this bank. Uh, there's a couple big spawning areas up here, and this fish will come stage here, move on in. And after they spawn, they come stage out here. So it's just a big fishy area that we're going to try to pick apart and see if we can get some more big ones. I might try crankbait on it. Be a good idea. This one is really a grass, but I mean it's real chunk rock. Nice. Uh, get, you get hung up pretty easily out here. But for from my experience, the chunkier the rock, the more snaggier it is, the bigger the fish. So I'm hoping that's the case I like today. That. <laughs> I, I, I tend to agree with that. Okay. Most people hate losing tackle, but sometimes those are the less pressured areas and where those big fish are. You know, are. back home on the Susquehanna, like I like to throw it in white water. Get one to jacket. I'm gonna go back here and dig around in my crankbait. That <laughs> sounds good. Yeah! Dang it! <laughs> Did I get one? Yeah, the pre-spawners are out here. I just got bit too. Yeah, baby! There's one. Another big one. Oh, bigger at least. Man, like, I don't know, 18? Nice but pre spawn. Not as big as the last one, but still a good one. Pre spawn. Okay, nice, oh, just got another one on the diesel minnows. Getting full pre spawn, just healthy smallmouth. Funny thing is that there's a lot of them like this in here. So we just keep going down this bank and checking all these baits and see if we can get a few more of these. Hopefully we can get like a four or five pounder today, that's going to be cool. Let it go. Down to the decks. Lobbering that swim bay, dude. Just boom, <laughs> the mic. Ooh. Oh, it's fun. Yeah. You got diesel minnows? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Throw that guy. Tell me about your tournament season last year. Yeah, so this is actually my second year. So last year was my rookie year. Uh, I fished with kayak. Oh, that's a stump. Ooh, that scared me. Fished with kayak fishing northwest. Uh, 
basically it's a tri-state organization, Oregon, Idaho, and Washington. And I uh, was fortunate enough to get Rookie and Angler of the Year last year. Wow. I qualified for the West Coast Championship and the Kayak Bass Classic. And yeah, it was, it was a, definitely a better year than I expected being a rookie, but I mean, just... You crushed it, man. Yeah, it was That's fun. Awesome. Pretty much got top five in each single event. Uh, won for Oregon in the Tri-State in Wallula, which is the Columbia River about two hours east of here so did that and won another event on the willamette river so it was a it was a good year nice. and it was just a blast to really get to know a lot of these people what was, what was your biggest total uh, i think it was 91 and three quarter inches and that was on the columbia nice and that was a, a bag of four large mouth we caught a, a 20 and a quarter which ended up being like a six and a half pounder and then a couple other four pounders you know 18 19 inches and then had one 15 inch smallie in my bag so i had that one holding me back a little yeah. bit but that was that was set of fish man that was a that was a learning experience for me because i had a fish to win the tournament i only lost by an inch and a quarter and ended up uh i didn't put my net to the side and that was one thing that i learned from that tournament that cost me about two thousand dollars that tournament fish jumped off the board after that every single fish i put the net right here so i can measure it yeah, it doesn't sound like it hurts you too bad though yeah it was a good tournament <laughs> got got big fish in that one too so right. it was a blast better than i expected all right we'll get your mag draft all that stuff let's keep keep catching yep let's see if we can get some more Bit right in front of the kayak. <laughs> uh, I felt it. No, it like bit. I felt it. It was like right in front of me. <laughs> I think they're on beds. I'm just bumping it. There's one. <laughs> A little guy. Oh, big guy. Never mind. <laughs> Not a little guy. <laughs> you guys are just crazy. Got one on? Yeah, we got one on right now. Kept getting bumped on the swim bait through the drop shot in there and it was almost instant. This one's a fighter. There we go. I thought it was a little one just because it just kept bumping the swim bait, but not a bad one. This one spawned out, it seems like. Through that trick shots, the Green Pumpkin Gobi by Z-Man. Can't be at a drop shot. Get colors on it. Water's a little dirty right now, but still a solid fish. Fun fighting. All right, so maybe just talk about what you're doing right now. Pretty much what we're using is a Z-Man trick shots, green pumpkin goby. Uh, I got this weed list because a lot of the times on this river, there's a bunch of grass. So I'm using an owner cover shot with that. And that's a one knot just to keep it weedless run a little bit longer leader just in case we get in those areas where there is grass but when we're dragging it around these rocks and stuff it stays pretty noticeable you got to think we also have a lot of current here so as this is getting dragged down it allows that bait to sit a little bit higher than the bottom just finessing it cigar and biz x eight pound having fun with doing that and i mean it seems jameson said before like we fish some of these areas you get bumped you could throw it with something slower and it's all the times this fish will get it and that was just a prime example of that we was able to get that fish to go after missing it on the swim bait a few times so there's a lot of opportunities for that around here and just got to maximize each bite 
this place should be kicking off right now, but 62 degree water temp, it's... Oh, I just got wrecked. There you go. I think some of these spawning fish are just a little bit off the bank and not too active. That thing just slobbered it. Fighting fish. Piss off spawners. Gotta love the way these fish fight. solid one. And that one probably is a pre-spawn. I mean trick shots just way down there. You think that fish wanted it? I think that's when you know you got the right bait. I was surprised to catch those po those pre-spawners out there. So there's a chance that they haven't really pushed in here to spawn yet. There's one. <laughs> Little guy. <laughs> generation of big ones though. There's one. Oh, it popped off. <laughs> What's a mess? And the fish are out here.
aggressive guy. That's another one. Probably another 17 incher. Fun fish. See you later. Throwing a negotiator now. <laughs> go big or go home. Negotiator. <laughs> that is sick. Oh, that is super cool. <laughs> That's a healthy glide bait fish. Super cool. Swim bait. <laughs> Good one. That's a big one. <laughs> that gotta be a 20 incher. Yeah, that's a good one. Gosh, freaking slow, dude. Looks like way more. I can see clear. I'm trying to get a focus on it. Folks, um, on the Columbia River, Brandon Waugh. Hey, how's it going? We had an amazing two days, thanks to your hosting us here. Yeah. It's a great, really great smallmouth fishery. Valley Sports Network is where they are. Uh... What's going on over there? I don't know. That's not James. James is over there. I know. It looks like a. Is it a guy that's overturned? I'll take a look. Yeah. It almost kind of looks like one of those sliders. Oh, it does look like a uh, We got a paraglider that's kind of stuck here on the bank, so we're all going out real quick. We got to tow them out to the main river so you can catch some wind. Well, this is the last stretch of the fishing with Jameson and Jeff. They got to head back out on the road in the morning, so this is going to be a farewell. Where can they find you guys at? So you can follow what I'm doing on the Road Trip Angler on YouTube, uh, also Jameson Redding on Instagram and Jameson Redding Fishing on Facebook. The Little Stuff YouTube channel and Jeff Little Kayak Fishing on Instagram. Make sure you guys go follow them, check them out. I'll have links in the description below. And at a later date, we'll have the full video out with all the fish catches. Appreciate you guys watching. Catch you on the next one. See ya.